Right, hi ladies and gents. Um, what I'm going to show you today is uh, some core strength exercises uh, and how to engage our diaphragm to help us relax more, okay? So the first thing what we're going to do today is show you how to breathe for the diaphragm. So I roughly touched on it when we did the stretching techniques at the end, uh, but now I'm going to do it at the start of it to get our core to engage, strengthen up our core muscles, and relax the lower back, upper back at the same time, all right? So, what I do is we go through, first of all, how to breathe for a diaphragm. So what you do is go on all four walls, first of all, just relax from the shoulders, knee underneath the hips. And then now what I want to do is breathe in, push my stomach out. So I'm breathing in, so I'm blood balloon, breathe in, push your stomach out. Breathe out. Breathe in, push your stomach out. Breathe out. So like I said before, what we're trying to do is make the diaphragm a lot stronger. So what he's doing is pulling down and drawing the air into the lungs. So I'm breathing in, pushing your stomach out, and pull that diaphragm down. Okay, so it expands the lungs, okay? When I breathe it in, I pull the stomach in, push the diaphragm back up to the side position, so it pushes the air out. Okay, so it's one big elastic band helping our lungs work more efficiently. So, yeah, go through again. So, breathe in, relax your shoulders. Push the stomach out. Breathe out. Breathe in. Deep breath. Breathe out. Really push the air out, okay? So try to do like 10 breaths on that one just get your body to relax. So we'll take a lot of stress off the lower back, so keeping this to relax, and we're strengthening up the core muscles, and then from there we'll take more tension out the upper back, okay? So once you've done that, repeat that three times, okay? And then we're going to go to bird dogs. So this is a stability exercise, but what I'm trying to do is balance the body, and then extending at the same time. So the breath, so we'll see what we do, dive and breathing to begin with. So we breathe in, Breathe out. Just extend. Keep level as you can, okay? Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm trying to work hard now on my left side. Keep yourself balanced. So this is called a bird drop, okay? So just breathe in. Breathe out. And extend. Okay, so my right side is a lot stronger to hold the body up. I can feel that. Point the heels out. Bring the thumb up towards the ceiling. Come down again. Breathe out. And extend. Okay, try to keep as you can. So what I'm going to do is wobble side to side, try to keep the core nice and firm. And obviously again, just relaxing through the shoulders. So we do 10 times five each side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Extend. Show you one more time. Keep your core nice and tight. Breathe in, push your stomach out. Breathe out. Pull it in, okay? So that's called a bird dog. So once you've done that, ten, five times each side, we'll see, do it 10 times, 10 reps. Then we're gonna rest, and then we're gonna repeat that three times, all right? So we do that nice and slowly in control. And from there, what we're gonna do is lower the back. So these exercises, you can do them after your exercise routine, okay? So you, you do your routine, um, or you can start it at the start of the exercise, get your diaphragm relaxed, get that core engaged, okay? So either at the start or the end, it's up to you. So now, we're gonna come down. And what we're gonna do here is the same position, but we're gonna obviously lift the hips off, knees in line, bring the hands up and point, okay? So from here, it's called a dead butt position. We're going to breathe in, push the stomach out, breathe out, and extend. Come back up, breathe in, push the stomach out, breathe out, and extend. Okay? Try to keep that lower back pushing to the floor, keeping your hips up. So literally, you can't keep the floor, the floor my lower back is pushing to the natural arch. Strengthen the lower back at the same time. Breathe in, push the stomach out, breathe out, and extend. Mm -hmm. The opposite side, I don't know what would have happened next. 
Breathe out. So breathe in. Breathe out. Really try and push this down. So breathe in. Breathe out. Okay? Keep control all the time. So my head's pushed down, my upper back pushing to the floor. I'm just lift the hips up. I push my lower back, so it's flattening out the lower back. So the natural option is what I'm doing. Okay. So again, repeat that five times, ten times, ten reps. And then from there, all you're going to do is a squat. So come down. So we're not going to do a rest, we're going to do an active rest. We're going to push the hips up. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the core nice and tight. And then make sure you're stretching the lower back. And you're going to the pre position the head. So keep that tension up. Lengthen the hip flexors at the front. So just relax your shoulders. And if you can, keep the stability. We're going to extend the one leg at a time. So breathe in. Breathe out. Extend. Come down, make sure your knees are level. Breathe in. Come down. Breathe out. Extend. Okay, keep stable as you can. Breathe in. Keep the hips up. Breathe out. Keep tension that through all the time. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep tension here. Come down. Breathe. Okay? So that's the active breath. So again. Five times each side, so 10 reps. Then we'll put that in between, we'll do the dead pipes. So do three sets of that, alright? So from there, then what we can do is called the toe tap position, which we practice a lot in here. So we're going to get the head down, push the back down, arms out on the legs, okay? Lift the hips up. So now my arms off the floor, I'll allow that to push down, so straight that lower back up with the hips. So okay, we'll arch out to short. So that pulling the hips up and keep tension in your arms. So from here you breathe in, push the leg out, breathe out, come down, keep tension in here. Come back up again, breathe in, tension up your hips up, breathe out, control, breathe in, breathe out, keep tension in here, so keep the bum off, keep tension in your abs all the time, breathe out. Breathe in, back push out, hips up, breathe out, go up again. Keep tension, keep your bum off, tension down to the top, just relax. Okay, so then that will be 10 reps, so far each side, and then you're going to relax and repeat that three times. So this little routine is going to help you strengthen up the lower back, you're going to be hitting the glutes a lot more. And strengthen the TBA, the deep muscles inside the spine, so strengthens it up, keeps better body posture, and prevents lower back injury. Okay, so do that nice little routine at the start of your uh, exercise as a warm up with your stretches, and do your stretching obviously at the end, uh, and do your core strengthening as well. So, little routine to add into your workouts and your bodyweight exercises. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, post. Make comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Have a Heart Fitness. Don't forget, keep with it, enjoy the program, keep going, guys.